is adoption going at the moment? Is there uh, kind of widespread adoption? Are, are, are many companies really kind of cutting onto this, or is it still at the you know quite early stages? We're in very early stages of, of the of digital, in part because of this idea of uh, of agility. Right, this is not something that feels very uh, very comfortable uh, for the uh, for the industry. And so, if you think about how long it took actually to adopt fracking across the industry, I mean, we knew in the late 1990s what that was really going to do, and it really was only in the last decade that we saw the wide spread adoption of that kind of uh, that kind of technology. Uh, the same thing is true here. We are in the first of a, a 10 year to 15 year change in the industry structure because it puts in the hands of the uh, front line an ability to uh, drive performance in ways that just couldn't have been done even a decade ago. It'll be a much safer uh, industry to operate. People will get hurt a lot less. The idea of of intrinsic safety because I'm using digital tools to take people out of harm's way and to make the operating processes fundamentally more safe, I think, is, is one of the most important things that we will observe. What digital allows you to do is to work the process end-to-end -end and to take out the bottlenecks systematically through the system when, when the next one appears. How do you get uh, management teams, com companies, kind of comfortable with it? When your uh, frontline maintenance supervisor goes and tells the CEO, this has saved me hours and hours and made my guys more safe, then management team is on board. It's a very different approach to, uh, to buy-in than, than we had a decade ago. The human factors part of this is an enormously important piece. That's not historically how you became an engineer in oil and gas. You were a civil engineer or a chemical engineer or a petroleum engineer, and now that's actually going to be embedded in the frontline operator.